Tony Stark has perhaps become the leading icon for human-machine interaction and execution. I have always been very fascinated by Stark Tech, and his augmented reality systems might be his proudest invention. There's been different versions of it in every film ending with the Edith glasses. While Stark technology has proven to be highly effective fighting alien threats in romanticized film fiction, I believe this technology would have even greater potential for the normal person that fights against the cold in the morning trying to read the news of their phone whilst waiting for the tube. AR glasses would offer effortless and intuitive social media scrolling, as well as live guidance in surgery and construction, or installing equipment in extreme or even alien environments. Imagine the gaming industry. Instead of watching Pokemons jumping around or casting Harry Potter spells through your phone, AR glasses would make this magic appear in front of you, almost indistinguishable from reality. Take Google Maps AR feature for phones as an example. The phone needs to be held up in front of you, acting as a shield between you and your surroundings. This could easily lead to the user not seeing an approaching danger, such as a light post or a car. AR glasses would allow your normal senses being fully active while having an overlay of the navigation. They could also show information about buildings and monuments, or show nearby events and translate signs in real time. The applications for such a product are endless and it's now time for AR glasses to hit the market. The tech giants have, just like Stark and I, realized AR's potential and are working towards an AR future. There are some releases out there such as Google Glass in 2014 and Microsoft HoloLens in 2019 and soon the Apple Glasses. While most of these are all specifically connected to their own already existing products and are not ready to replace the smartphone yet, the average consumer won't consider buying them because they don't simplify one's life enough. Which is why I'd like my AR glasses to serve merely as a projection of any existing tech. But especially smartphones to keep all the devices functionality still in the glasses, just remotely computed. This will move users gently towards an AR era and accelerate the development of standalone AR glasses, just like Tony Stark did. Last winter I was on my way to school and I had to do something on my phone but I didn't feel like taking my hands out of my pockets to interact with my phone, so I started to think of solutions for this. I had a brilliant concept after a few days. By combining augmented reality technology and integrating eye tracking, one can cast a phone to an AR display in a pair of glasses and predict where the wearer is looking on said display. This combined with a subtle glove equipped with a tiny pressure button and motion tracking gives full control over the phone. So by re-watching the same clip again, knowing how the glasses work, we can see that the user could, for example, look at an application through the glasses and press the button in the glove to open it. Scroll and swipe on the phone by holding down the button and making intuitive hand gestures, just as we see here. I am now working on my fourth version. It started as a minor side project in school, but it quickly grew much bigger. I've been in touch with the wearable display company Vufine in the United States, who kindly gifted me with a sample of their leading product. I have also had very useful one-on-one -on -one mentoring time from the optical module company Ned Pulsar in Shenzhen, China. I am now in touch with the world-leading eye-tracking company Toby here in Stockholm, and they are going to supply me with spare waveguide technology displays and some eye-tracking ideas, which they've used in their different product developments. During a visit to their office, when trying my setup, Toby, rather surprised, exclaimed that my eye-tracking was more accurate and user-friendly than many of their competitors, far better than they had imagined. Hi, my name is David Gufeng Dalin and I just turned 18. I hope you've enjoyed my contribution to the competition. So what's next? Week 10 I'm going to have a presentation in school about my work. And the best bit about this presentation is that I will control it with my glasses to prove that they are working. While this project has exceeded my school's expectations far more than Tesla's share price has its shareholders this year, they still require a lot more work to be competing on the market. I'll soon need a team working for me to move fast enough and I'm trying various options to get this going, which is why I'm entering this competition. Some future additions are sound integration, forwards facing cameras, selfie cameras, developing custom chipsets, and optimized hardware and software to make a stylish, light and appealing design for the everyday user, where battery life, affordability, user interface and durability will be top priorities. My best wishes, goodbye.